Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back! Hello fellow farmers and welcome to MBG Farming Simulator 19 Tips and Tricks. This series is either for you that is new to Farming Simulator 19 or just want to know a little bit more about the technical stuff and uh, what's going on behind the textures, fill types and objects in this game. The tips and tricks in this series uh, are primarily based on my own trial and error experiences and also frustrations uh, when things don't behave the way I expect them to. But I am curious of nature and instead of getting angry and rage quit I then think oh but uh, why is that now? And then I start to investigate. Well, at least most of the times. <laughs> right? So uh, my hope is that I somehow can help you along the way uh, by doing these series, these tutorials and uh, give you a better gameplay experience. I also got a lot of technical uh, farming simulator know-how by making three maps in uh, FS17 uh, and got a lot of understanding of, of how things work in the giant editor and how things do not work <laughs> most of the time. Uh, it do require a lot of detective work to figure out how things work and how they don't work but it's all part of the fun, right? At least I think so. But if you got any tips and tricks, then please let me know in the comment section below. Or if you have specific topi topics you want me to cover, then please also let me know. So, well, let's get to it then. Now, to be able to use these uh, different kinds of comments that I will show, you know, we need to uh, go to do some changes in the settings of the game file. Not much, just one setting, that's it. But I do highly recommend that you back up any file that you are making changes to. Because things happen, right? Just make sure, back up every single file you just want to do anything with. It will be so sad if you need to uninstall and install the game again just because some little things just went boop. First, you make sure that your farming simulator is not running. Mine is, so I just gonna quit the game and save of course if that's what you want. Then we need to locate the games file and that is located in your farming simulator game folder on the this PC documents my games farming simulator 2019. You will find the games file right there. You right click on it and then you can open it with any kind of editor you would like. Normally I use a Notepad++ because it gives me a better overview of the coding when I need to change something. In here we have the game XML file with all the lines and there's only one thing we need to look at and that's the part where it says development controls true controls development. We're gonna change this setting down here to true. Normally it looks something like this. It'll say false, then you don't have access to the console controls. Um, but you just change it to true. There we go. And you save it. That's it. You close. And you're good to go. And then we just run FS19. Before we get started, I will just address that uh, we have a mod out there, even on Farming Simulator Mod Hub, that's called Easy Dip Controls, and that's uh, have a few overlaps of uh, the, the F keys that I'm going to uh, explain to you. Now we're in the game, and first and foremost, we got F1. Now F1, we all know, is the game. shows the game controls, the key bindings of your characters, your vehicles, your equipment, and also if you have some add-ons, 
then we'll show the uh, information how to do what and uh, what you can do and cannot do so that's all good f2 shows you the frames per second and if your experience is uh, frame drops like freezing or lagging or stuttering in the game it can be a good way to try to optimize your gameplay experience uh, especially if you have an older computer now i have a link in the description below that uh, is going to take you to a site where uh, there's been listed a very good explanation how you can optimize just tweak it a little there and well you get a much better experience now hitting f3 does not really show anything but it uh, toggles the frame rate limiter. Giants has set the limit to 60 frames per second. I'm not quite sure why, but as I read through the forums, it might have something to do with the console game version as well. So that's a connection there. Um, but you can change it if you are running the game with a 140, 44 hertz monitor or better, then you can obtain a smoother gameplay. You can just tweak it through there. Now F5 will show you the wireframe mode of the 3D models in the game. I guess this is mostly used by modders, like uh, doing validating stuff and uh, trying to look at the uh, their models in the game. You can see some things that we clearly cannot see in the, in the normal gameplay, right? See how things are rotating better and don't have that all that other stuff to uh, focus on. Now pressing F5 will toggle the debug rendering and you have collision and triggers and wheels and then you have some lights frame also you can find on the map and uh, mostly used by map makers to verify uh, that collision boxes and triggers in the game are where it's supposed to be but I am using it a lot in my gameplays as well when I can't get things to work the way I want them to then uh, just toggle on this mode and I'm trying to look um, you can see these boxes here and you might ask what are these boxes doing just here in the middle of it all we're not doing anything well they are actually uh, part of the tutorial uh, when you're gonna run that when if you play farming simulator for the first time it's gonna be some kind of activation activation boxes walking through them and then you get information and you do your stuff here in the tractor and you are sewing here and you come to the next information box and then you're guided through so that's one way you can use it. Uh, another way you can see this in the front of the tractor is just uh, the camera view and also a, if something uh, object comes in front of it, it's going to stop right there. And uh, furthermore, things you can look for in here, there is the, um, the silo outlet. You can see here it's going to pour out the output's going to come from the silo so that column there once you know what you're looking for it's easier to see this is very difficult to see here but there's inside there's a light orange box lying just over the top of the grid and that indicates that that your unload trigger is placed right there um, it takes a little while to get used to uh, know what you're looking for but uh, once you uh, once you have a little practice, then you know exactly what to look for. Uh, this is a very useful tool, at, le at least for me. When I'm in doubt of anything, I'm just turning this on and I'm just go for an investigation and see, well, how can this be? Why does that this model not work as I expect it to? And sooner or later, you'll find out that either there's something missing in the mod or it was just you who was just barking up the wrong tree, right? Now pushing F7 uh, will give you different kind of uh, map camera objects that is set uh, and changed in the Giants editor. That's when you're doing the uh, the maps, you can put in some camera objects. I'm not really sure what the point is and what you need them for, uh, but you can just locate the map on different kinds of uh, places. There's even here for one for the vehicle and another one there inside the vehicle so these are set for different kind of objects even the house you can go take a look I don't know if you're gonna use it for screenshots or just overview or something like that I'm not quite sure I haven't found a specific use for it yet so <laughs> now hitting F8 now this is gonna be fun especially if you're a little uh, 
the statistic nerd as I am, this shows you a lot of statistic uh, numbers in the game. Let's find a, a bit darker place where we can, uh, where we better can see it. Somewhere in here, ish. Now F8 got a lot of interesting information and uh, got also a lot of uninteresting information, but it all depends on what you want to look at, what you want to focus on, what's what's your need, what you want to see. Um, there is just a rental statistics, then there's some physics stats page, and uh, even a bit more different kind of traffic collisions trigger that's going on. You can see the AI traffic is moving around on the map. There's some engine profiles. We're gonna load some textures. It's gonna render the audio informations, everything that's going on on the map while we're standing here doing nothing. And you got some atmospheric effects and uh, some rendering effects and some tone mapping and everything. This is uh, not really sure what that is. And here we got the exact place where we are. There's some audio stats. Got some helicopter distance, some bird woodpecker. You can see coyote, wind layer leaves. So that's a uh, that's pretty fun to to watch if you're into that kind of thing. Then we got F11. Now this was the mod I was talking about before. That's the easy dev controls. And in here you can do pretty much most of the things that you can do with the console active can add or remove money, you can tip to the ground, you can add some bales and pallets, you can set the daytime, the weather type, um, you can change ambient sounds, you can turn on your flight mode, uh, you've got super strength, you can set the field fruit, you can set the field ground, you can always play around with your vehicles, and I do love this easy dip tools. As you push the tilt the key, as I call it, and that's the key just above your tap on the keyboard. You press that once, and you press press it twice, then you have access to different kinds of uh, information. And when you have opened the console commands, then you can press tap for different kinds of uh, commands that you can enter. So that's one way to get access to it as well. If you don't have, if you don't want to use the uh, easy dip mod, then you can use the in-game console commands. I have disabled my functionality of F12, the screenshot functionality, because it uh, was interfering with some uh, other key bindings that I have, but don't you worry about it. You can set it up uh, when you're pushing F12, then you can have screenshot taken, put into your maps folder in your PC, or it can go on the uh, Steam Workshop, just all automatically, so you can show your friends what lovely things you're doing in FS19. Right, that was a little walkthrough of the F keys here in Farming Simulator 19. And as I said, if you got any tips and tricks you would like to share, then please let me know. And until next time, please take care, stay safe and be cool. Bye!